I loved it. Well, Grandpa Ward certainly is pleased. What a performance you put on. Dad, good luck in the game today. Thank you, thank you, guys. Hey guys, so I just got back from the ball field. I'm still at my parents' place. I got another baseball game tomorrow. It was a long day, um, but this is what I learned today. Um, it took me a while to get ready for the day. I woke up a little bit later. Um, I'll get touch base on that in just a second. But I woke up a little bit later and I needed to have breakfast, which was around 11 in the morning. But that's not what I had wanted to learn. What I learned was it's a lot tougher to stick to a habit. Um, so I mentioned it in yesterday's video about my diet. Um, I'm cutting, um, eating around 1,500 calories per day. That's the goal. I lost about 10 pounds in five weeks, which is actually a pretty uh, healthy amount to lose in that time. The big thing that I'm doing is uh, I'm drinking meal shakes. So each shake has about 500 calories. It's got a bunch of nutrients in it, basically just everything I need, makes it easy for me. Um, and for a while there, I was only having these shakes. I was having them three a day, and that was 1,500, um, and that was my 1,500 calories. Um, fast forward to now, where it's about seven weeks into my cutting diet, and I've cracked a little bit. Um, this morning I was hungry and I don't know, I guess I just didn't feel like eating any of my shakes. So I freaking had um, Eggo waffles and syrup and some like cereal. I was just eating whatever. And I know how hard it is to keep a habit. And to be honest, in the first five weeks it was pretty easy to cut. I don't know why it was easy for me. Um, I guess it was just the initial motivation of doing something. But um, I didn't think I was going to get to this point because I thought it was going to be a habit by now. Um, so I cracked and I've been cracking quite a bit. And I guess I just fully realized I think I've hit rock bottom with my goals for my diet um, as of right now. So it gives me a chance to look and see like what, it, what it's like to be at the bottom. Um, you know, I've failed myself couple times more than a couple times in the last couple weeks uh, with my diet and it just really sucks to think about that and I just need to get back on the horse and I think starting tomorrow I'm gonna get right back to it um, I've kind of plateaued with my weight loss so after this week I think I'm gonna really hit it hard so what I basically learned is that it's harder to keep a habit uh, and I learned that firsthand so one thing that made me sad today is that, um, well, I guess it was technically today, but it was last night. I was trying to go to bed and my sister's cat is here because my sister's home from South Carolina and the cat kept me up all night. Uh, it kept jumping on the bed. It kept clawing at me. It kept wanting me to pet it, which is fine. It's a cat, whatever. It's an animal, but it kept me up for like two hours and I couldn't fall asleep. So that was part of the reason why I, um, uh, got up so late this morning and probably contributed to my other bad habit. But one thing that made me happy was uh, I got to the ball field really early because it was the all-star game today and um, my girlfriend called me, which was entirely unexpected. Um, she called me and I fortunately had a moment to talk to her um, while I was at the ball field. So that was really nice. Um, it, it was only for about like five minutes and we kept getting interrupted. It's the little things that really make your day. So uh, that's what I learned today. Um, as always, what did you learn today? Um, leave a comment down below. Let us all know what you learned. Uh, maybe share a nice moment that you had today or maybe a sad moment because, because no matter what happens, happy or sad, we can all learn from it. So I'll see you tomorrow.